Rob DeSanctimonious's poll numbers are dropping like a rock. If you listen, you can almost hear that old Snoop Doggy Dog song, Dropping Like a Rock, playing in the background. Can you hear it? Dropping like a rock. Dropping like a rock. That's what he's saying, right? With my good friend Snoop, you can't always tell because he slurs his words when he's under the influence, which is, let's face it, all the time. I've never messed with that stuff myself. Well, except for that one time when I was backstage at the Little Miss Teenage Hot Body Pageant with my good pal, Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey liked to have fun, lots of fun, and he most certainly liked the ladies. He had a lot of success with the ladies too, he really did, whether the ladies liked it or not, but I digress. We were backstage watching the teen hotties change into their swimsuits when Jeffrey pulled out this huge ganja roll, a very fat spliff, very fat. This was no Boston pin joint, not even close. This was a bona fide Bobo Boom Bush Bammy blanket bomber of a blunt, let me tell you. Excuse me, Mr. President? Well, will you look at this? It's my favorite ball buster, Marjorie Taylor Greene, joining us by satellite hookup from Washington. Yes, hello, Mr. Trump. I'm so, so sorry to interrupt your charming little story about watching teen girls undress while smoking weed with a known pedophile, but I just wanted to know if you've thought any more about what we were talking about the other day. Oh, you mean about the vice presidential spot or about how I should stop hiring female lawyers because of their good looks and not their legal abilities? Both important topics to be sure, but yes, the VP position. Are you still considering me? Tell me again about the qualities that would make you a good vice president. Well, I'm loyal to a fault. Good. I lift weights. I'm strong. I could double as your bodyguard. I like it. I always speak my mind no matter how inane and stupid I may sound. Just like me. That's a plus. When I get a pedicure, it takes 40% less time than most women. Right. The three toes thing, definitely an advantage. Big advantage. I'll be totally honest with you, Marge. Completely honest. It's down to two potential candidates. Are you at liberty to share that information? This is top secret, so keep it on the down low. But as of right now, my pick for VP is between you and Satan. So at least I'm still in the running. May the best cloven hoofs win. <laughs> <laughs>